In this presentation, we are going to look at the binomial distribution and we are going to use statistical tables to help us with this job. If you're not familiar with statistical tables like the Murdoch Barnes tables, I think you should uh, check in that first before we continue. Okay, so it is estimated by a health and safety officer in a manufacturing plant that 20% of the workers, let's make a note of that, in the plant do not have adequate health and safety training. 10 of the workers are randomly selected, okay, that's useful to know, and are tested on their knowledge of health and safety regulations in the plant, okay. So that's two key things there. We have N is equal to 10 and P is equal to 0 0.20, okay. So essentially, here's the four questions. What is the probability that four or more workers do not have adequate, adequate health and safety training? What is the probability that less than two Okay, remember the wording is very important here, less than two. Do not have adequate health and safety training. What is the probability that more than one, but less than five workers, now you have to just think about that for a second, we'll come to that shortly, do not have health and safety training. And then finally, what is the mean and the variance? Okay, so if you go to the statistical tables of the Murdoch Barnes, you should get something like this. Now, just to be absolutely clear, for some First off, you have to go to where n is equal to 10 and then where p is equal to 0 0.2. So you have to just look around the tables and see what you find. Now, you should get 0 0.8926 somewhere near the top and then 0 0.6242, something like that, okay? So uh, that's it. That's the tables we're going to work with. And this gives us the probability of x greater than some value r, where r is tabulated over here. So it goes all the way from 0 to 10. Those are the, all of the possible outcomes of this survey. How many workers do not have adequate training? So first one is, what's the probability that x is greater than, greater than or equal to 4? So it is 0 0.1209. Let's just go back and check that, where I got that from. Okay. So... I go to the correct column here, which is this column. And then I go to where the row was equal to 4. And then I just pick out the probability from the intersection. So one point zero point one two zero nine. The next question is, what is the probability of less than 2? Okay, less than 2, which means either 0 or one okay now this gives us the this tables gives us the probability of more two or more okay so if we go to that row there that's the probability of two or more now two three four five six all the way up to ten so what happens is that the what we're asked for is the complement of that so it's a simply a case of one minus 0 0.6242 and you should get that one there okay so the probability of x less than 2 is 1 minus the probability of x greater than or equal to 2 okay the sample points for 0 1 are what ex are excluded from 2 3 4 all the way up to 10 so that's the probability that we're of what, what we're asked for corresponding to those sample points and that's what the table gives us so one minus the other one minus the other should uh, will give us the probability okay now more than one and less than five well this corresponds to the sample points two three and four okay so let's look at our sample points again two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10. So if we asked, look for the probability of x greater than or equal to 2, we should get 0 0.6242. But we're only at want 2, 3, and 4. So we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want this, this, or this. So what we're going to do is subtract the probability of x greater than or equal to 5. Okay? So just check our tables there. There we go, 0 0.0328. So I subtract 
from 0 0.6242, I subtract 0 0.0328, and I should get 0 0.5914. So that's the answer to the third one. Okay, uh, finally, what we're asked for is the expected value and the variance. Now, this is not part of the tables. This is just a sort of general question you might get asked. So the expected value is N times P, okay? Uh, the number of independent trials times the probability of success. In that case, it is 10 times 0 0.20, which gives you 2. Sorry, it's a little typo there. Okay, we expect two people not to have any training. And then probability of... Sorry, the variance is the expected value. Uh, it's calculated as follows. I should, this little typo there. It's n times p times 1 minus p. That's 10 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.1 or 0 0.8. And that actually should give us 1.6. Again, another typo. All right. We'll leave it there.